Hey everybody, today I'm gonna build a tool that's called a siding gauge. I'm gonna build two of them, maybe three of them, because siding gauges are what you use when you're installing siding to make sure that the siding pieces, as you put one on top of the other, are spaced with a consistent spacing so that the reveal or the part of the siding boards that you see is exactly the same from the very bottom row all the way up to the very top row. This also helps make sure that they are uh, level the entire way up. You just set your first one to be perfectly level and then each one that goes up on top will also be level because you're using a consistent spacing. It also makes it possible to install siding by yourself, one person, even if you're using big long 16 foot pieces of siding, which is what I'm gonna be doing. So siding gauges are really useful tools when you're installing lap siding on something like my new shed. Here's some shots of the side of my house and this is the look I'm trying to mimic. I have to make sure that things match perfectly, both the paint, the kind of siding, although I'm cheating just a little bit, I'm using fiberboard instead of cementitious siding. Don't tell the HOA. Anyway, I, uh, I looked around on Amazon and other sources to see how much siding gauges cost and they're like 75 bucks. And I didn't really wanna spend that much money on a tool that I'm gonna use for a day and then just collect dust in my shop for who knows how long. So I'm gonna try and build my own. I've got a couple of uh, different ideas. I got a couple things I bought at the hardware store for less than a dollar each. We're gonna try that and um, you get to see the process and learn what I learned along the way. So let's get started. Okay, let's see if I can explain what I'm gonna try and build here. If you imagine the wall as kind of a cross section where this is the surface of the wall that I'm going to be nailing onto, I'm going to have one piece of siding that is already installed. You can't really use siding gauges until you've already got one piece of siding installed. And then I'm going to have another piece of siding that I want to install. Now the thing with siding is that they overlap a little bit, at least the kind of siding I'm installing. It's called lap siding. And you nail it right up kind of this area, right up within the top three quarter inches of the, of the board. So that means I've got to be able to set this offset exactly the same on every single piece of siding. Let me draw a little bit smaller picture, maybe even with a straight edge. What? All right, here's my wall that I'm going to be attaching the siding to. Okay, so you can see here the basic idea for how siding is installed to the wall. This is the surface of the wall I'm going to be nailing the siding into. And you only nail the very top part of the siding. You nail it right here through so the nails are hidden. This is called blind nailing. And the nails will go all the way through and into a stud. So that means each piece of siding you put up covers up the nails of the previous siding. And what I'm trying to build here is the tool that's going to set this gap from the top of this piece to the bottom of this piece to be exactly the same. So the first idea I had was to find something uh, made of metal. So I ran to the local big box store and I found some big strips of metal like this. These were, uh, I think, 89 cents each, pretty darn cheap. And my idea is to bend them into kind of a hook at this end so that that hook will come up and over and down just a little bit and just hook behind the previous course of siding that's been installed. And then that hook's gonna come out down here and the, the metal can come down as far as I need it to go. With uh, maybe I'll put a little little bend on the outside of it as like a handle so I can you know, pull it off the wall when I'm done. And then I'm gonna put a little ledge or a little shelf on it uh, out of a, a little block of wood or something. So that'll be, you know, a piece of scrap pine. And the idea then is the next board, once I've nailed this one in already, so there's my nail going through, the next board will come and sit right on that little shelf or that little ledge so that I can nail it in. So once I get the next course nailed up, fairly close to where the gauge is, then I can pull this board out a little bit, not very far, that's way too far in fact, probably pull it out just far enough, in fact let me go ahead and draw that, I'll pull it out just enough that this corner 
that it sat on. So we pull that out like that. Then this can go up, which will disengage this little hook at the top. And then I'll be able to slide my gauge back out. And then swing this back down and finish nailing it up. And that's the idea anyway. Let's see how well I can make that actually happen. So you can see from my existing siding, I have a seven inch reveal. That means you can see seven inches worth of each board. So this is the siding I'm gonna be installing on my shed. And you can see that it is not quite eight inches. It's seven and seven eighths. So that means the gauges that I'm building need to have a seven eighths inch overlap to give me a seven inch reveal. So seven eighths is the magic number. So let's look more carefully at the material I'm gonna be using. This is 16 gauge steel. It's uh, a product that's called the Strong Tie, and I just picked it because uh, it was roughly the right dimensions for what I wanted. It's, it's pretty thin. You can see the cross section here should fit in behind a piece of siding that's already been nailed up with no problem. And um, it's also heavy gauge enough that I think it would support the weight of a full piece of siding without too much difficulty. So I'm gonna use my vise and take a swing at putting a hook in the very top part up here. And uh, then we'll go from there. Stop laughing at my vice, it's fine. All right, so my siding gauges are now finished, and I wound up making a couple of minor changes that I wanted to walk you through. Um, as I was thinking about this little retaining piece of metal I wanted to have there, I wanted to make sure that once I put a piece of siding in, it wasn't gonna slide off this way. You know, if there wasn't any little clip here, if there's a piece of siding here, and I set it there, and then I walked down to the other end, you know, 16 feet away, and I uh, start manipulating it and this starts wiggling around, it could work its way forward and slide right off. And I didn't want that to happen, so I built this uh, extra little retainer that is just held on with this wing nut, so it's really easy to move up and down. So this is how this thing works. When I'm ready to put up a piece of siding, I'll hang this on this piece that's already there, and I'll slide this up and turning uh, the wing nut just a little bit to lock it down. It doesn't have to overhang a ton, just enough that the siding is going to sit in a little trough there and have a little lip that it can't hop over very easily. Then I go ahead and put my siding in, get it all nailed up, and then when I'm ready to remove the gauge block, all I have to do is give this a you know, quarter or half turn, slide that straight down, and then I'll just pull the siding out like this from the wall, slide this up, pull it out, and remove it. And then move on to the next piece, which is up above. Again slide this up, lock it down, and off to the races we go. So I think this is going to be a pretty good design. It should work well enough for what I need to do, especially since I'm just siding a shed. Ah, that's hard to say. One other thing that I did, since I had to run to the store to grab these wing nuts anyway, I also picked up some slightly longer bolts and nuts to match them, and those bolts had uh, heads that could be countersunk. So now there's nothing that's going to stick out and mar the siding as I put it up. It's uh, completely flush there, so this will be nice and smooth. And hopefully I won't get any damage on the siding as I do the installation. So 
So that's it for the construction of these siding gauges, and uh, I guess let's go start siding the shed and see how well they do. And it turns out these worked fantastically well. Uh, everything worked out exactly as I expected it would. I would bring in a board and set it right up on top of the siding gauges. I would adjust them kind of side to side and make sure they were in exactly the right position. And then I put a nail in, uh, not quite at the very end, but in the second to last stud on both ends. Check to make sure it was level and uh, also make sure my reveal is exactly seven inches. Nice. Once it had been tacked to both ends, I could easily just pull the siding out and slide the gauge up and pull it out and put it up on top of the piece that I just put in. Get that gauge set up for the next piece, then I could come along and nail that piece the rest of the way in on all the studs. Then just simply repeating this process uh, made the siding go on really, really fast. So that's it, these siding gauges were super simple to make. They only cost us a couple of dollars and they saved me so much time during the installation. So if you've uh, found this video useful or uh, enjoyed what you saw, why don't you give me a little thumbs up down below. And if you wanna see anything else that I'm gonna be building in the future, hit that uh, subscribe button down below. And as always, thank you very much for watching.